All right, guys, so this is the second video uh, for the operant conditioning. It's just some extra questions that you can you can work. And again, just remember, operant conditioning is BF Skinner. Uh, follow the process of identify the person, identify the person's behavior, and ask was something given to them or was something taken away. And if you do that step, you'll get the questions right, hopefully every time. So hope you like the video. All right, guys, so here's an extra set of questions for you. Uh, make sure you kind of reinforce this, this concept. And again, watch the first video that kind of really talks about the, the psychodynamic, and then you have the behavior theory, and behavior theory works down BF Skinner, operant conditioning, and that's what we're talking about here. And make sure you go uh, with the procedure that we have. We said, look, we want to identify who the person is we're talking about. We're going to identify the behavior of that person, whether it went up, increased, or whether it decreased, went down. And if it increased, well, that's a reinforcement. If it, the behavior decreased, then we consider it a punishment. Okay? And then, then we'll ask ourselves, well, what, was, what happened, what occurred for that behavior to, to react that way of the, per, of the person? Was something given to them? Okay? Was something given or added? Or was something taken away? And if something was given to them or Adam added, we would say that's a positive. If something's taken away, that's a negative. And if you use these four terms and then combine them in the right the right way, you know, negative, positive reinforcement, positive punishment, etc., you will get these questions right every time. And these are the ones they, they like to ask. So it says Carrie has has to hand in weekly reports every Friday. When she hands in the completed report before lunch. Carrie's boss takes her to Starbucks for coffee. Carrie has been turning in her completed reports before lunch more frequently. According to, the, uh, according to operant conditioning, how is Carrie being conditioned? Well, we know it's Carrie. What's her behavior? Her behavior is what? Turning in these reports. What occurred with these reports? Is she turning them in more or less? She, she's been turning in uh, more frequently, okay? So that's a reinforcement. Now, what occurred for that to happen? Was she given something or was something taken away? Well, her boss was taking her to Starbucks for coffee, so something was given to her, something was added. So this would be considered a positive reinforcement. Okay? This one says, Max is usually late for class. His teachers have been making him stay after school when he is late. Because he hates staying after school and not hanging out with his friends, Max has been less late to class, according to operant conditioning, how is Max being conditioned? Well, we know it's Max, okay? What's the behavior? Was the behavior going up or was the behavior going down? Well, the, the, the bad behavior per se, or just the behavior, I shouldn't say bad, but the behavior that they're looking at um, is uh, he's late for class, okay? He's being late. So the concept of being late, did that go up or down? The concept of being late, he's less late to class. So the concept of being late went down. So we're going to use the word punishment in this. Okay. Now, was something given to him or was something taken away from him for that to occur? Was something added or was something taken away? Well, because he hates staying after school and not hanging out with his friends, okay, he's been late less to class. So... What happened? Was something given to him or taken away? It's his interaction with his friends. It's not hanging out with his friends was removed. Okay, He was removed from his association with his friends. So that's a negative. Something was taken away from him. Okay. Now, part of you might argue saying, well, wait a second. He was given a punishment. Yes, but the punishment itself didn't cause him to, to change the behavior. What caused him to change the behavior is because he couldn't hang out with his friends. So that interaction... Which was taken, which is being taken away from him, caused the change of behavior, and that's why it's a negative punishment. Okay. This one reads: Susan wants to go to Pensacola Beach with her friends over the summer. Her parents told her that they would give her five hundred dollars towards that trip for every NBME exam she passes. Susan has been passing more NBME exams and performing better overall since this was started, according to operant conditioning. How is Susan being conditioned? Well, Susan. Uh, we know it's Susan. What's the behavior? Okay, the behavior is these NBE, exa NBE exams, NBME exams. Did they go up or did they go down? Okay, it's passing these, right? The behavior went up. It increased. It increased. So we know that's a reinforcement. 
Now, was she given something or was something taken away? She was given $500, so that something was given to her. So that's a positive reinforcement. Answer choice A. Okay. This one reads, Little Mary cries loudly when her mom won't buy her candy. When Little Mary's mom buys her some candy, she stops crying. As a result, a Little Mary's mom... As a result, Little Mary's mom buys her candy more frequently. According to operant conditioning, the change in Little Mary's mom's behavior is a result of which the following. Now notice here, you got Little Mary and you got Little Mary's mom. So that's why I'm saying you gotta identify who they're talking about because you could, if you were to say Little Mary, it's a whole different ball game. But it's Mary's mom, okay? Mary's mom, and what's the action? What's the behavior? It's buying candy, right? Buying candy. Now, buying candy, did that go up or did that go down? Her buying candy uh, is more frequently, right? So the buying candy went up. So that's a reinforcement. We know that. Now, what caused that re What caused that behavior to, to change to the, where she bought candy more frequently? It was the, was it the crying added? No, it was the crying being removed. Okay, the behavior, because if, 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 if her daughter's just gonna cry more, that's not gonna change the behavior. She, well, she's, not gonna, she's not gonna buy more candy. It's the fact that her daughter stops crying. So the crying is removed, negative. That's why she changes the behavior, okay? So this would be a negative reinforcement, according to Mary's mom, okay? Now, if they ask that same question about little Mary, well, how did little Mary's behavior change, okay? Well, the, the behavior in her is uh, crying, right? Did the crying go up or did the crying go down? It went down, right? The, the, the crying decreased. Was something given to her or was something added? Or taken away? Was something given to her or something taken away? Something was given to her, so that would be a, uh, a positive punishment if they asked about little Mary. See the difference? Identify the person the behavior, and then what was done that changed, that caused that change in behavior. Last one. It says, Jesse received a speeding ticket. From that point forward, Jesse drove the speed limit. According to operant conditioning, how is Jesse being conditioned? All right, so we know it's Jesse. And uh, his, the, it was the speeding, right? That was the behavior. Did the speeding go up or did it go down? Well, his speeding did what? He drove the speed limit from that point forward, so it went down, so we know it was a punishment. Now, was something added or was something taken away? Okay? Now, in this thing, they just said that it was, um, that he had gotten, he was given a speeding ticket. Okay? They, they tell us no more information on this. So, in this situation, he was given something, uh, so this would be considered a positive punishment. Now, there could be an argument in here saying, well, now if they would have been more, more specific and said he was given a speeding ticket that cost him, you know, $500 and that he hates, you know, giving money to other people, then you could, then you could argue that, well, that might be a negative uh, punishment because it was, you know, he was, he was, something was taken away from him, money, but they didn't give us that in this question, okay? They, he, was, he was given a speeding ticket and that's why we're going to go with positive punishment on this one. So guys, those are just more examples. Make sure you know the system and you should be able to get these, all these guys uh, correct on the exam. Okay, hope you liked the video.